What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here, and today we are reviewing the eMove Cruiser electric scooter. This is a compact commuter scooter with a ton of range. So let's take a look. Subscribe and let's ride. All right guys, let's unbox it, but not with this. We need a real tool. All right, let's see what we got. Nice. We've got a lot of foam. We've got a standard bike tool. We've got this bag, Voro. You've been waiting for me? Let's see. These are just the parts. We've got some handlebars. Let's go ahead and take it out. Okay guys, so setup is pretty simple, it looks like. I think we just pull the stem up. Looks like a 58 volt 2 amp charger, not bad. And then I think these handlebars just come up. All this foam goes in the trash. Cut these zip ties. It's packed pretty well. I think uh, damage is probably gonna be pretty unlikely with this. And then the keys are right here on the stem. We just extend the handlebar a bit. We need to tighten this up with a hex key, but it turns on and we're good to go. So let's check out some scooter footage while we talk about the eMove Cruiser. As always, we'll give an unbiased and unsponsored review of this portable long range electric scooter. Let's get into what the eMove Cruiser is, the performance specs, features, the positives and the negatives. We've got some fun footage around San Francisco as well as our classic hill contest on California Street. So what is the eMove Cruiser? It's got a fairly impressive amount of range for a low price. Not a lot of scooters fit into this high range, low power, and low cost category, so we thought it'd be an interesting opportunity to review one. Definitely check out a link to the eMove Cruiser in the video description below. Now, let's get into some of the features. The eMove Cruiser sports fairly standard handlebar grips, it's got dual brake levers, key ignition, and a finger throttle with display. The display will show your current speed, battery level, telemetry, and allows you to adjust settings. You can also swap out the finger throttle for either a thumb throttle version or a twist grip version. I'm personally becoming a fan of the thumb throttle, so I might swap that out in the future. We've got a loud horn, lights, and turn signals, and a button around the left. It's definitely a full-featured scooter. The handlebars are also classable for storage and portability. The eMove branded stem also adjusts height for storage or riding comfort. A standard and functional folding mechanism at the bottom of the stem collapses the scooter into a compact package. All of this comes in at about 52 pounds. It's starting to get on the heavy side, but definitely light enough to carry up or down some stairs if needed. The scooter deck is a good size, and I was comfortable right at six foot tall. The dual suspension makes for a pretty comfortable ride and light trail riding or off-roading is totally possible. The tires are 10 inch by three inch pneumatic tubeless tires. This makes for nice handling and easy repairs if you get a flat. Now, let's get into the performance specs of this electric scooter. Powered by a 600 watt motor with 1600 watts of peak power, the eMove Cruiser will move faster than a rental scooter and slower than dual motor scooters. It gets up to a top speed of 26 miles per hour and our top speed according to the speedometer was about 25 miles per hour. Braking performance is better than I would expect with this scooter, and the dual mechanical disc brakes can stop the scooter quickly. They're strong enough to lock up the rear tires and power slide to a stop if you want to. Now, onto the star of the show, the battery. Powered by a huge 52 volt battery and 30.5 amp hours, or 1,586 watt hours, this scooter has a ton of range. This is a quality LG pack of cells and should give you good range with a long-lived battery pack. A claimed range of 62 miles is possible, likely at lower speeds. Our hunch is that we can kill this battery in about half of that at max speeds with hills. Maybe we'll do a minimum range test in the future to test that theory out. Now let's head to California Street for our hill climb test. All right guys, so we are back at California Street, one of my favorite hills for testing scooters out. 
No single motor scooter has ever made it to the top. So we're gonna see if the E-Move Cruiser has what it takes to get to the top of California Street. Let's test it out. Ready? Let's go. Up the hill. Let's see if the E-Move Cruiser can make it up California Street. We are on the first leg of the journey now. Not as steep as the next two. And we're just crushing it. It's a 16 miles an hour up the hill. Not too shabby. All right, that went pretty well. Let's see how we do on part two. All right, here we go, part two. So this is a moderately steeper than the first one and we are slowing down a bit to about 12 miles per hour. Or is that kilometers? I don't know, but it's reading 12, 10. Come on, you move cruiser. Are you going to be the first single motor scooter to make it up California Street? Ooh, this is pretty good though. We're going. We made it up the second leg. Oh my God. Amazing. Let's keep rolling. Up leg three, can we do it? Can we go up the steepest part of California Street? Only a dual motor scooter has made it up this hill so far. Oh, we're slowing down. Maybe if I carve a little bit. I can car, no, carving is cheating. We're slowing down a little bit. Two, one. It doesn't want to give up. What do I got? Okay, so we didn't quite make it all the way up, but we got about halfway up this big hill here. It's pretty steep maybe a 25% grade or so. So overall, pretty good for this single motor E-Move Cruiser. Definitely plenty of power to work pretty much anywhere. But in San Francisco, you'd have to kick it up these steeper hills. All right, let's get back to the review. The E-Move Cruiser currently sells for $1,400. At this price range, you're going to have a lot of options, but none with the amp hours of the E-Move Cruiser. Some options in this price range would be the Mercane Wide Wheel and the Zero 10, neither of which are going to have the same range as the E-Move Cruiser. So overall, I think that if you're looking for range at a low cost, there's very few options in this niche, and the E-Move Cruiser wins here. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode on the E-Move Cruiser electric scooter. Hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.